The engineering building here at the University of Leicester is considered one of the most significant pieces of architecture built in the 20th century. It was designed by young architects James Sterling and James Gowan in 1957 and had burst onto the architectural scene just as Britain was coming out of post-war austerity. It was new, it was dynamic, and people had never seen anything like it. Architects and commentators all over the world hailed it as something highly significant and quite innovative. And today, its importance can be seen in the work of subsequent generations of architects. Sterling and Gowan were asked to accommodate different engineering disciplines in this one building. And so they arranged small laboratories, the big engineering workshops, academic teaching space, lecture theatres, all around the central foyer and entrance and around the vertical circulation stairs, the lifts and the tower. This building was designed for engineers. In the words of the architect, it's the right style for the job. What you see is what you get. The pipes, the structure, even the ship-like handrails. This is what makes this building feel like an engineering building and not like academic offices. Like all engineering buildings, it has no windows, but there is a lot of light pouring in through the roof. This glass roof is one of the most striking and significant parts of the building. The plan beneath it of the workshops is rectangular, but because the workshops needed true north light, they had to be oriented on the diagonal. So the architects placed the roof lights at 45 degrees to the plan below, creating this awkward geometry between the diagonal and the rectangle. But they turned it to sculptural advantage and they designed these extraordinarily dynamic diamond ends to the roof light. And these became a hallmark of the building, became known all over the world, so much so that they were used on a British postage stamp. The glass roof is supported on this very heavy brick base, which also supports above it the towers and the lecture theatres and all elements of the building. And so important did the architects feel this idea of the brick base was that they even made a brick door to keep the solidity of the whole base. So here in Leicester, the architects found the ideal bricks with which to create this massive base for the building. They called red Leicester engineering bricks. They come from the 19th century industrial building tradition and they the same tradition from which the red tiles come with which they've clad the lecture theatre. So what is the legacy of this building? Why is it so important to architects? Well firstly it was the audacious way in which the architects took all of the functional parts of the building and made sculptural forms out of them. And then also the way they used glass as a plastic material to bend it and shape it, also to make sculptural parts. This is a building that's influenced architects ever since it was built. And those ideas were developed here at the University of Leicester's engineering building.